Hey friends, Pirate Mike here. I have no idea why I do it, but I always have. Whenever I find a half dollar at the beach, I put it in my eye. I'm not sure if it's because it's the size and it seems like it should just fit. At any rate, if you guys like uh, treasure hunting and uh, looking for uh, all sorts of cool things at the beach, including uh, sea glass and driftwood and obviously gold and silver, then uh, I'm hoping you enjoy my channel. Thank you again for watching. Uh, back down at the beach. It's uh, super gloomy holiday weekend and uh it's not keeping the people away though it's pretty packed a couple of low spots hoping uh hoping i can find something sand does not look great but probably plenty of traffic in the last few days all right i got a it says it's a 24 mid-tone could easily be iron though. Getting a lot of iron grunting. Tide's coming in. Still in the hole. Should be in the scoop. Not in the hole anymore. I don't see anything in the scoop. You guys? Oh, there's a nickel. We actually uh, knew exactly what it was talking about. I like finding nickels. another low tone low to mid it says it's an 18 love that that last one was exactly what it said it was it's kind of a rarity still in the hole now it's just a little bit higher in the 30s this is a really good number if uh if it were to materialize into something that high in the mids Theoretically, be in the scoop. Ooh. Something else right there too. Oop, and there. All right. So, and something there. Good. Need some targets in the area. I'm not seeing it, but it's in the scoop. We're actually out of the hole. Oh, but I see a little piece of copper. Tiny piece of copper. Right, I think there's a coin in the scoop. And we have a quarter. All right, that's our first coin. No, that's not true, the nickel. Nickel and a quarter. Kind of excited by that. Got a dime, so all I need is a penny for the cycle. And uh, there literally, as I was walking down from right up there where that hole is, a whole bunch of other targets. I'm going to turn you guys off until I find something else again. I'm trying to conserve battery, so. All right, the cycle is complete. I have not been here very long. It's been uh, kind of fruitful. No, uh, no jewelry yet. A few bullets and uh, definitely having to deal with the uh, waves for sure. Got some really cool sea glass as well. Again, I'm trying to conserve my battery, so off you go. A pretty, uh, pretty healthy swell right now, and definitely a, a lot of work to uh, detect in these waves. Kind of wild. I just got a buffalo head nickel out here. I don't think I've ever found a buffalo head nickel on this beach before. Kind of neat. I do love buffalo head nickels. It's had a tough time out in the water, but. Still a buffalo head nickel nonetheless. Well, I thought I had a piece of gold, but I think it's just uh, some sort of, it's just not very heavy. It's, uh, I think just some sort of plated junk. I'll check it when I get home, but I'm pretty sure it's just plated. All right, just got a mid-tone down in the uh, 
looked down the wet, it was a 42. And I think, I'm hoping, I saw a ring in there. I don't think it's gold, I think it's gonna be silver. But let's see if I'm right. And it is a tiny, really thin silver ring. Still a silver ring, so on the board. I'm excited. I just found this really cool, what I think is a maybe a button. Not sure. Kind of neat looking though. Art Deco-y. Might have been part of a ring. I don't know. Yeah, the swells are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, I'm literally getting beat up. Just trying to dig a what I think is probably a quarter or <laughs> maybe even worse, a penny. Yeah, this, uh, this last set was uh, best to describe it's detrimental to my digging abilities. So, so good outside way right here. Water's going up about 20 feet past where I'm at right now. Yeah, definitely the beginning of a pretty healthy south swell. Scent is literally unrelenting. It has not stopped for God. It's been over five minutes. So, I guess it's just the beginning of the swell. Dave found this yesterday. Oh. It looks like a J. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Whichever it is, but we, we at need least one it was something. But we were we didn't find anything. We need uh, an HMD, which stands for Heavy Metal Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got these two things out of the wet. One of them is what's left of a helicopter. The other one, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think it used to be a washer, maybe. Look at Dave just got a beautiful silver bracelet. Look at that. That's, uh... That's really nice, Dave. Good job, buddy. I'll be careful. The clasp is, it's just one of these little hook clasps yeah. right there. So don't let that come apart. Nice job, Dave. Look at that. Good job, buddy. Cool. Boom. Well, that was a hard stopper. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty sure. I'll check it out when I get home, but it, I'm pretty certain that that's going to be a brass. Sure looked good for a second. Whatever it is or was, it, it's hammered now. It's definitely a, what used to be silver or something. Um, yeah, cool. it's uh, I'm not gonna play with it too much because it's very brittle, yeah. but it is a little piece of silver. Hey, dude. I'm not complaining. Got a quarter out there in the wet. Almost died for it. 25 cents richer. Almost lost my life. I yeah, just got another nickel. Got another uh, poor man's fishing weight. It's funny. There's actually in my pocket a uh, brass fitting that somebody used as a fishing weight, and uh, it's a lot more expensive than lead. <laughs> well, another hard stopper. I am pretty certain this is uh, not gold. Let's see, it's kind of got some. Uh, not just tarnishing, but it looks like it's starting to fall apart in certain areas. So, yeah, just gold plated, I think, or gold colored. All right, back on the beach for another May gray day. It's uh, after a holiday weekend, so might be some stuff out here. The uh, wet sand looks really, really filled in, so we only have a little while to hunt, but. Figure we'll give it a shot. I'm with Alex. He's someplace off in the distance. All right. 
got a high tone. Low 70s to the 80s. It should be the scoop. 77 to 79 now and I think I just saw a copper penny and for those of you guys know me I'm a not normally a dry sand guy but the wet looks horrible and uh, I'm gonna make do with what is here well, there's Alex filling in one of his holes anything good Uh, definitely a lot of sand. Nice shirt you got. You like that? I do. I like the advertising. Here, shoot my QR code. Oh, there's a QR code. You can scan it. Well, we're going to keep trying. I have a high tone. 84. Eighty-four to eighty-seven. Still sounds really good. Does not sound like iron, at least at this point, which sometimes makes me nervous. I think I have it. And we have a quarter. I see Monique, she just got here. It's a very easy commute for her. I got a, what I think is a Canadian quarter. Um, it's Regina. It is, it is. Canada, Canada. Got a high tone in the 80s. And I think I have what's left of a penny. A lot of sand crabs. There are like eight of them in that scoop. Another beautiful day at the beach. Alex over there digging holes. We'll see what he's finding. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to film right now. But I think I have a high tone. A lot of big waves coming in. And it's a dime. I have a low tone down here. Hoping it's a nickel because that means I'd have the cycle. And I think that's exactly what it is. And a sand crab. It is a nickel. I have a high tone, 98. Still sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little iron grunt to it. That right, should be out. Sixty-two to sixty-four. And it is a zinc penny. Back at the beach. It's a huge swell today. Pretty high tide as well. I 
think I got a zinc penny here. It's in the 60s. Now it's bouncing up into the 70s. I got a dime. Oh, a little sea line right there. The sea lion? Oh, group of pelicans. What do you call pelicans? Flock? Rebound's good. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hoping this thing's gonna build. Look at him. I think he likes this. Just go ahead and ride it right here. Well, here's another wrap up. Got a lot of trash off the beach. Uh, got uh, some bottle caps, some pull tabs, some. It killed it in uh, wire or on twist ties. Um, I did get a few pieces of bullets and little whatnots. I got part of a helicopter. It looks like it, uh, you know, didn't survive the crash. Um, got uh, obviously the you know standard just garbage that people leave behind did get a condom wrapper lucky me dave found this cool hammer <laughs> and he passed it off to me i don't know i thought it was kind of cool so i decided to show you guys but i did not find that dave did um i did get and i refer to these all the time as the poor man's fishing weight because when i was a little kid if you got a spark plug you could use it as a fishing weight and uh, and that's exactly what these are from people using them as fishing weights um but I thought it was funny. At the same time, I found this, which if you look really close, is actually a, a brass fitting, which is a hell of a lot more expensive than uh, than a lead weight. And somebody used that for a fishing line, for a fishing weight. Pretty comical. Um, I did get, which is interesting, two days apart. And and again, what you guys are looking at is four different beaches in two days. So uh, it's not all one day, and it's not all one beach. And that's how pathetic my hunting was this uh, this particular week. Um, but I did get two halves of the same pair of sunglasses t t two days, you know, a day apart from each other. I thought it was kind of interesting. I have no idea where the center part is. Um, somebody else on one of the other channels, and I can't remember if it's, if, <laughs> sorry guys, one of you guys, it's either Magnet Man, uh, Monterey Magnet Man, or uh, Jason Does Stuff. But one of the other channels I love to watch, he, every time he finds a Bobby pin, he says, come on, Bobby, like uh, Talladega Nights makes me laugh every freaking time, so... Um, don't stop doing that. And I'm bummed I didn't think of it. Uh, did get some sea glass. I got this big clump and uh, it rang up a high tone. And the reason for that is there's actually a coin right there. So someday maybe I'll bash this apart with a hammer and we'll see what we got. Um, I'm kind of thinking it's a quarter. Speaking of coins, I did get four quarters, five dimes, two nickels, four zinc pennies, Third, sorry, four copper pennies, 13 zinc pennies, and uh, they range in all sorts of scales of spendability, some being spendable, some being almost spendable. So S, not for San Francisco, but for spendable, AS, NS, and NES, and NEES. -E 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 and what that stands for is spendable, almost spendable, never spendable, never, ever spendable, and never, ever, ever, ever spendable. And they, and they can go all the way off the charts. Sometimes you find little fragments that are like six E's, and those are uh, absolutely worthless, just so you know. Um, also, got uh, I got this kind of cool, what I did decide was actually part of a ring, and it probably had a big piece of bling in the middle of it, but kind of art deco-y looking and, and uh, kind of neat. It's just made out of brass or copper. Uh, I got a Canadian quarter. Check her out. 
Queen Elizabeth in her youth. We're going to start getting some King Charles ones coming up here pretty quick, I guess. Um, I did get a Mexican coin. I did get this silver ring, and I lost. I had another silver ring that was just absolutely beaten to the pole, you know, just completely folded, and uh, I can't find it, so I'm assuming it's either in my car or in uh, one of my bags, so someday it'll probably show up, but it really wasn't worth mentioning for the most part. Uh, I did get this world's smallest silver dime, um, and the beach I get those from as you can see, these coins have been on the extreme weight loss program, the ocean weight loss program. This is actually a nickel. And uh, I did get this little piece of junk jewelry, which gave me a little bit of a, a stop because it actually rang up a, a you know low tone and sounded pretty good. And the only really cool thing I got was this buffalo head nickel. It's the only cool thing I got. Everybody else was out there getting all sorts of great stuff. But I do want to talk about my giveaways. So... A lot of you guys saw this. This is the world's fastest Hot Wheel. Probably not true. Probably not even fast with all the sand in it. But if you've got a kid that'd be interested in a cool blue Hot Wheel, I'm going to have that as one of my prizes. I'm also going to have this cool retro Batmobile, which will never roll again. As you can see, the back wheel is completely frozen. But for those who think the Batmobile is cool, um, this will also be one of the give giveaways. And then... I uh, kind of hinted towards it being spooky. Dave and uh, Brad gave me these cool rings to give you guys. And uh, I just thought you guys ought to check these things out. Pretty awesome. So this one is super heavy. I was told it was a nine and a half size. I don't know about the size of the other two. It's got a spider on its head. It, it weighs, it's crazy how heavy it is. I can't even imagine. It's just pop metal. This one's kind of cool. It's, it's, you know, been uh, either brass or copper, probably silver plated at one point in time. He's got headphones, so he's listening to music. And uh, this one is some freakish bird. I don't know what. Kiki. Um, anyway, uh, so if you go to any of my videos, mention Skull Ring. It will be random as to which one you can win, and you can enter in any of the videos one time. So you can go to any of my videos, put Skull Ring, you'll be entered into it. Same thing goes with the other one is Hot Wheel. And the other one is Batmobiles. All three of these giveaways will be on the 23rd of June. So Friday, 23rd of June will be the giveaways. So you guys will have three weeks to enter into it. And again, just go into any of the uh, videos mentioned one time. Skull Ring, Batmobile, or a Hot Wheel. So Dave has got something really cool to give away on the channel. Very piratey themed. Check that out. There's a whopping, and I mean whopping, skull ring that dave's donating to the giveaway it's got a spider on its head super duper cool dave that is so awesome thank you very much and i'm you're, sure whoever wins it'll be super uh super glad thankful to do it. thanks buddy yeah, no problem not at all glad to do it they just they'll love it they they you're welcome to both of them this one's really weird oh hey, my hey. god oh wow Oh my God. So Brad and Dave have both given me some skull rings to do giveaways for you guys. Where'd you find those at? Oh gosh, I don't know. I have, I have a whole box full of old crummy rings. That is so them. cool, Brad. Thank you, buddy. Hey guys, just want to say congratulations to the winners. Again, huge amount of people that put their names in, especially for the shirt, but we also got a lot of people in for the sea glass. So thank you guys so much for winning. Again, the winners are Monterey Magnet Man, he won a shirt. Old Pilon, he won a shirt, or they won a shirt. Also, Tony Reynolds, you won the sea glass. And Backbreaking Metal Detecting, you also won the sea glass. Thank you again for watching. Hey guys, love it if you guys would subscribe and check out one of these two videos. We really appreciate it. Thanks again.